So we figured it was about time you had an updated video on overlays because there are new features that have been added in here recently and we just wanted to give you the latest version. I wanna simply walk you through it and very slowly show you step by step different ways that you can use overlays to improve your videos and really make them look professional. So I'm gonna go through and show you all these elements that you can add in, bring in some demos and hopefully just inspire you along the way. What are overlays? Well, the answer's in the name. They're literally something that is going to overlay this base image here. So if it's me on here and this is the recording, then I can overlay things over that. If it were a screen share, I could do the same thing. So that bit's pretty obvious. Let's work through and just show you what you've got in here. Now I'm just set up in a scene over here of my overlays demo. Haven't got anything particularly laid out specially for you. If you're not already using scenes, please go over and check the video out on that. It is a game changer when you can queue different scenes up, move between them really smoothly. We're gonna show you that towards the end of this video. So let me go through this and just show you. So I've just queued these up and numbered them so I've got an order to go through. So uh, right down the bottom here, we're gonna work along this. So the first one on here is just adding in images that I've got. So I can add these in by clicking on these little icons down here and it says it pops up new image overlay. We've got new animated overlay. We've got text overlays. We've got timers. We've got widgets and we can put things into a folder, into a group if we want to. Now you can, if you've got an image sitting on your desktop, just drag it onto the top of here and it will take it. Or by clicking this, it will go off to Finder and it will let you go off and search for that download. I've already brought them into here. So uh, when I click up here, we're gonna go through, starting at the top here, images. So what can we do with an image? Now, an image might literally just be a photo that I bring in like this. I can grab it at that bottom right corner, move it around. Uh, I could position myself if I wanted to have that on here, uh, a, a way to demonstrate something. Maybe uh, another way of using this, something that I would use, is to bring in a quote or something like this. If I'm running through some slides and maybe I'm doing a presentation and I wanna say, you know, look at this feedback that we've been getting. Uh, a really powerful way to use this and you could create this into little speech bubbles or other different ways if you wanted to. So that is quite simply just bringing in an image first of all. Uh, something else you might want to do is uh, bring in a logo. So I've made this logo to be transparent and you can see that as it comes down here, uh, I've just written that text on a transparent background, fits up there really nicely. And again, always at the bottom right corner of it, I can grab it and I can just select the size of it. And I can push that right up to the corner. I can't take it off the screen, but that's a way of just tucking it up there if I want to. That's pretty obvious. Definitely try to do it with a transparent background rather than just kind of putting a sticker over it. I really like that one. We'll leave that one up for a while. Uh, then maybe uh, another thing I could use, what about little emojis like this or something? It's some kind of graphic that I want to put on here just to add a bit of fun to the live maybe. Um, what about uh, footers? So maybe I want to create something down here and uh, we're gonna see in a minute, we'll come back to this one because we're gonna look at text in a minute. So this one's blank for now, but we could put a template like this in and then put text over the front with our name on. Another way of doing that might be this one. This has already got the text that's been applied to it. Now this is still an image overlay, but what about this for an idea to actually create a frame here with our live? Um, if you'd got, maybe uh, a couple of people that you would, do. maybe you're doing an interview on here and you wanna bring in a second person, this is how you would do this. And all that is, is an overlay and we've cut out these windows to it. It's not sitting behind, it's sitting out on the front. And again, we could combine this and add text along the bottom if we wanted to. I'll just turn that one off first and um, let's turn that chappy off. If you wanna have a bit of fun with it, again, still an image overlay uh, with a cutout frame in here. What about something like this? Now, to enhance this and make it even better, what I would do is to come to the camera effects and just zoom that back a little bit. And I can zoom it back and I can reposition myself in there. So 
it's not quite too full screen. Uh, doing something very similar to that, if I turn that one off and I come down here to this Mac overlay, again, I can crop myself back to fit into that window. Um, but I'm not, I mean, we could do this as a picture in picture over the front, but this is actually me. This is again like a window, a frame that is cutting through. What a great way to start a live and do something like this. It's really fun, really kind of taking your lives to the next level. So this is all what you can be doing with your image overlays. So when I remove that, you'll see that, look, that's, that's what I've done is I zoomed that in. If I untick that zoom, it comes back to me full size. Uh, what else can we do? What about PDFs? So we could drop a PDF into here and we could actually run through this as a slideshow, a webinar style. Now, what I'd like to do is to be able to appear in this as a picture in picture, but it won't do a picture in picture because at the minute, my image is sitting behind it. So if I go over here to screen share, then actually I can now become a picture in picture over the front of this. And uh, as you hopefully know, we can change this shape around on here. And uh, I really like to use this round one. I think it looks great actually. Uh, so I could sit that over here. And then as you can see, I could just scroll through this and do myself a little webinar and a slideshow. Uh, powerful stuff. Okay, so uh, come back off of that. Let's take this one off. Um, now, okay, that so far, that's been image overlays. So it can be from a simple photo to a quote to making a frame around it. Let your imagination run wild with this one. Now, let's move on. So that's still images so far. What about animated overlays? Now, an animated overlay could be any movie file, but it's not gonna have audio. So this isn't a way of bringing in a movie clip and playing it. Now, let me just say, if you drag a video file straight onto this screen here, it will assume you're trying to play it as a movie and it will switch this over to a video file. So you need to come at it this way and you need to go and search for that video file from here. Now, why would we want to do this? Well, it can work quite nice. This is a um, <laughs> simple bit of fun here, but you could create a little overlay like this. This was one very quickly made in Canva. A little bit feminine for me, but I uh, <laughs> thought it was fun and very quick. So you could do things like this and actually that, um, we're gonna loop this one, that's set under that record button there. I can tell it to, um, it's a little animated clip, so that would just keep playing if I wanted to. I've seen some really nice versions of this done more professional looking where there's just a slow kind of animation going on behind it. Again, let your imagination run wild on this one. So that's uh, where an animated overlay could come in well. Now, other ways that uh, we've been doing this recently, what about with a countdown timer? Now, this won't include audio, remember, but you can do this and you can create this countdown timer and then there are other ways of bringing in that audio. What I've tended to do is actually have this as a background as well so that the video is prompting move to the next scene and then I drop this over the front. Um, yeah, that's for another video, but again, you can see the power of this and what can be done by bringing in these overlays. So then we come on to text. So we've got images, we've got animated overlays, then we've got text and quite simply by default, I come into here, got a really powerful little text editor in here. Um, I can go through here and choose my different fonts that I want and in its simplest, I could just drop my name in here and uh, I haven't selected, I could have, a, there is a shadow applied to it. I could do a light glow around it if I wanted to. Now there is no background select selected at the minute. Let me just hit add. Once that comes in here, I can actually resize that so I can stretch it to fit. And if I'm bringing it in, it will snap on the screen here. See how it puts that blue line to tell me it's in the center. If there were two of us on the screen, it would also let me do this and snap. So I've got me and then the guest on the other side. Now, what if I want a background? Well, let's click here. 
and come into it and now I've got a background applied to it. I can change the colour of that by simply clicking here and that brings up this palette. If I wanted to uh, change the opacity, maybe I maybe I wouldn't do it with red actually. Let's just have a look. Let's change this over to, let, let's say we'll just stick with black, but I want it to be 35% transparent. Okay, let's get rid of that and say save. And now, as you can see, when it's, if it were over, I'm just putting it in front of something here. Not that I'd have it right across my head, but I maybe I want to put it up there. And um, as I come off of it, you can see that it's not a solid background. Uh, it's got that semi-transparent background there. Okay, so now we said about combining things earlier, didn't we? So what about if I wanted to use this little footer here? and then drop my name on it. But now I don't want this background, do I? Because that's looking a bit silly now. So I come back in here to edit it, and uh, I'm going to need to take off the background, but we don't want white text because we're white below. So I click over here, change the color of the text. I also don't want any effects. I just want it nice and clean. In fact, what I might do is just to go for a, um, a slight gray on there rather than black. Again, let's get rid of that. Let's save this. And uh, so you can see now that I could put this in here. And if I wanted to add another line of text, I might want to put my company name or maybe actually let's put the title of what we're talking about. Using overlays in Ecamm Live. That's too big, so we could actually shrink it down from here. But I could drop that into this text box here. Again, um, just change that around. I want that in white. Let's highlight it, change the font here or the color here. And maybe we just go for a lighter font as well. Line that up with my name. And all of a sudden we've created this more professional looking overlay. Now, what you would want to do in this case is add this to a scene. So we've already just built all this out into a scene. Let me just show you how easily. What I would do is clone this scene. So this is now just given me copy of. So I've got their overlays demo. I would put something like this, overlays demo plus name. Okay, now I'm gonna come back up to my overlays one and turn all these elements off. I don't want these on. I can either come over here and I can just untick the ones that are on. So now here I am on this scene and I want this just to pop up like that. So I haven't got to bring in three different items there. I can just jump to the next scene and this appears. Actually another way of doing this would be to group these three items, create a folder over here called title. And what I can do is drag these items into there so we've got this, so you can see what I'm doing. We've got the, we've now within this title folder, got this item using overlays, got my name, and we've got the actual footer. And so I can turn this on and off, and it's now grouped all those items together to make them come as one item. Now, another reason why I would use this as a overlay, and we're gonna come now on to timers, would be, I can actually time this. Maybe I only want it to appear for 10 seconds. So we've got a blank scene here with nothing on it. Then we've got one here that's got this title on, which we want to disappear after five seconds. So what I'm gonna do is clone the blank one. So I click down here, duplicate that. And actually, it can be called the same thing. I tend to just have it like this. And what I'm gonna do then is drag this down below the other one. So my scenes go overlay, overlay plus name, overlay. So let's come back to this middle one. And what we're gonna do is add a timer on here. 
Now, really powerful. I can do all sorts of things. There's all kinds of timers that we can use. Countdown for an amount of time. Countdown to a date and a time. So you might want to do this as an intro and a countdown to a live show. You might want to have a, just a clock that is just showing the time or a stopwatch. So maybe you're on a challenge and you're saying, right, let's see how long it takes me to do this. That would be great. We're going to say for an amount of time. So hours, minutes, seconds. So we don't want any minutes. We literally want it to be 0, 0.5 seconds. And what we're going to do, look, go to the next scene when finished. So it auto starts and it goes to the next scene when it's finished. So we're going to add that in. And I'm just going to show you what we're doing here. So this is our blank one. This is the one that we've now got this timer in. And look what happens. It gets to zero and it's now jumped to that next scene down. I come back to this one. What I need to do is pause it before it jumps away from me. And I'm going to edit this. And remember how we could change the effect of that text. We're going to bring this opacity down. So now we can't actually see it. But it is still there. I'm going to put it off to the side here because I know that's where it's going to be. So I'm going to come up here to my first one. I now come into these overlays. I can't see a timer, but we know there's a five second timer. There it goes to the next one. Now, if that feels like that was a bit abrupt moving through, then what we can do is to change. I've at the minute got no transition on here. We can have a cross dissolve. And what that will do, that's just when I'm transitioning between scenes, it will do a, a softer transition. So let's come back up to here. It's just faded in. That's a nicer fade out. OK, so that's combining several things there. We've got overlays, we've got text and we've added a timer to it. Like I say, if you like the idea of having a timer in here that um, auto started, Again, we could we could set a different scene up and I could clone this one again and I could say overlay demo plus 10 minute timer. So guess what's coming in this one? We're going to use a timer. We're going to say countdown for an amount of time. It's already set actually for 10 minutes. Remember, we've got to turn this text back on because at the minute we can't see it. That's now back in as white. Let's bold it up again. Let's put a background behind it. Background's a bit grey there. Let's make that a bit more exciting. OK, is that better? So now I could set this at the top of there. And this will auto start when I come to this scene. So again, we're in this one and we're going, right, OK, we're about to do a 10 minute challenge. Let's see if we can get through this in 10 minutes. Ready, steady, go. Right now that clock's going, you know, and away you go. And again, you can tell it that it goes to the next scene when it's finished. Or what about when it goes to the next scene? Your next scene is an image that says time up, something like that. Um, there's so much power in this. The overlays, the layers, timers, all of these different things that you can do. Super powerful. OK, so that's your timers. As I say, you can put clock, stopwatch, different things into here. You can completely customise how it looks. Now, the next one along, I'm afraid I'm not spending any time on because it's asking us to add a widget in there if we want to. And you need to go over to somewhere like Streamlabs widgets. And you can add things like uh, tickers or donation tins, things like this that for YouTubers or game streamers, people like that that might be using it. Uh, I I personally haven't found a use for it. Tell me in the comments, do you like, you know, what are you using it for if you are using that? Um, yeah, it's there as something else that you can do. But the last thing I do want to talk to you about, we looked at text over here purely as bringing text onto the screen. What about having scrolling text or a scrolling ticker? So what this is going to do is bring text across the bottom of the screen. Now, I like to use this at the start while there's a countdown and I'm just welcoming people in and I put a message like this up. Something nice and simple. I can actually come back in and um, 
add some emojis in here if I want. And uh, let's add that. So in it comes, I set that with a red background. Again, we can use any color, any font, any background. Uh, I can just move this around on the screen. If I want to increase, the way I adjust the height of it is by adjusting the font size. So if I increase the font, or let's take the font down. Now, one thing I've spotted with this is if you use emojis, look, it's jumped back in the font to this apple color um, emoji up here. It's, it's thrown it out. So uh, let's change that font back to something we know. We'll keep it nice and simple. And um, if you're changing sizes and things around, just bring the cursor over to the text. It's, it's a weird, unusual thing that's happened because I've had it there with an emoji at the end. It wouldn't come up normally. But let's change this font size around. If I were to take that right down, for instance, like this to 27, you'll see that the whole lot has just shrunk down now. If I think I want it bigger, then let's take it back up. So remember, I'm just moving that cursor away from that emoji because it seems to go crazy. I'm going to bold that up and save it out. And uh, that's nice and big. Now, here is where I can adjust the speed. So there's a little um, tortoise to hair. Really slow coming in right up to a super fast one there. And again, like I've said before, you can assign this to a scene so that it comes on. Maybe you only want that to play for 10, 20 seconds. Uh, think of other ways that you could use this. Maybe you are doing a, a presentation and you're doing an offer and you're saying, right, you know, first 10 people can get this offer or for the next 30 minutes, this is the deal. Uh, you know, something like that. There are ways that you could use this. So that's our scrolling ticker. Love it. One last one that I want to mention that again is simply a text overlay, but I think we're really missing out not using these is QR codes. What about that? I know of some musicians who do this and they just simply have a little QR code on there that uh, when I hover my phone over it, it takes me to PayPal and it's kind of how much do you want to leave a tip? As simple as that for me to just go, yeah, five, ten, twenty dollars. Really enjoying this show. Uh, now I've got that one there set up for my Ecamm Live Academy. It's actually what I had printed on the back of a T-shirt for Social Media Marketing World, but it works now. So all you got to do is grab your phone, open up the camera app, and point it at that, and see what happens. It will take you straight over to my registration page for Ecamm Live Academy. So how could you be using that? You don't need to have uh, text and things around it, just a simple little box if you want to. Maybe you say, you know, click here to go to my sales page, click here to download something, click here to go onto our many chat form. Loads of ways that you could use this. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. We've gone right over overlays and uh, so much in there. I hope that it has just given you some creativity, some ideas, some inspiration to go, yeah, I could use it for this. Why don't you let me know in the comments how you're planning to use this, what ideas you've got. If you've got any questions for me that you're not sure whether it will do something, let me know. Let's help you out here. Ecamm is an amazing tool and these are just some ways that you can take it to the next level. Now again, do go and check out those other videos. Now again, do go and check out those other videos, especially the one, especially the one talking about scenes over here. Absolutely, it's a game changer to get your head around how you can move from scene to scene using timers, using other transitions. Uh, great ways to just save you fumbling around trying to find overlays and things as you're going. Just know that, right, this scene goes to that scene and that one I want to have my name along the bottom. That one I want to have an image appear. That one's going to have a QR code. Whatever it be, uh, really slick to get used to using scenes and uh, I look forward to seeing some of your videos. So thank you so much. I'll see you in another video.